So we're here, we're gonna do this toolbox. Yeah, I'll pull it right up, lay the bed flat. That way we're going straight up the bed from here. Uh, so we're gonna load this here, this toolbox, guys. Um, I'll show y'all. It's on a little bit of a hill. to the base so. I I actually started to get a little bit of a chop on her. But my customer is who I'm here for. I really need to be paying attention to the customer. It makes it difficult. Sorry about that, bro. I kind of got a little bit, uh, you had told me. And so I had had that heads up. I kind of knew I was coming into. I just sent me these. Well, Mighty sent these. So we're gonna give them a shot. They should work a lot better than skates. Sir, yeah, and that's basically what I'll do is I'll give it a quick eyeball, lift it up just a hair. So I just got these sent to me by a company. Uh, they're called Mighty. They're they're one of my first sponsors for the, well, the only sponsor for my YouTube channel. So what we'll do is put some soft Mighty soft straps on it. This way we don't have to worry about no metal touching none of your casters. Should be able to hook it actually right in here. Pull it up on that edge. Or if you wanted to wrap it around the top of the caster. Yeah, that's 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 the, fine too. That's yeah. fine. Beautiful. I know it is a lot smaller than the, the last one you just did. It right? is, but I mean the thing is, brother, is uh you'd be amazed you could fit probably the amount of money that you can fit in tools in one of these is insane. Not just that, I know how expensive these are. A lot of people don't realize when they're hooking up to these things, what they cost. Man, they're not, there's nothing cheap that comes with anything Matco or Snap-on, period. Never has been. I'm not a, me I'm not a mechanic. I, I mean, I turn wrenches, but like I know that how they do like hourly, you guys like the jobs and stuff, like I watch videos all the time learning about how they charge because I do a little work on the side. Trust me, man, I know that it is a, uh, right now though, from what I'm understanding is a very desired field. There's a lot of jobs for this and, you know, for this type of work. But uh, just like anywhere else, you know, you got to find the place where you fit. But I definitely want to get some of your, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to come and make some adjustments as I get tighter. Um, I'll definitely get some of your uh, information and take a look at some of that tattoo work too because I got some cover-up stuff that I did whenever I was a teenager. I would probably, Boy. yeah, I was, man, I just kind of. Drew on yourself? I was really drunk. Yeah. Well, we need that. To yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yep. All right, so what we're doing is, is it's going to create this lip. Just take a look. Yeah, it's going to be smooth. Yes, sir. I treat I treat them just like I would the big ones, man. The thing is, is it's somebody's livelihood inside that thing. All 
Oh yeah, we. You know what? Typically, I go the rolling. Yeah, there you go. Typically, I do those wheels. Good deal. And we're gonna leave it towards the back. That way, we don't have to roll it all the way up. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get it a little bit further up for straps, and we'll start throwing straps and blankets over it right now. Absolutely. It's on you now. Thank, yeah, yeah, I'm all set. I appreciate your help. Go get the blanket out of the truck. Lock these tires. Yeah, man, I sent Hunter a text this morning. He called me. So I have his number saved. So whenever I have somebody's number saved, if they're not a customer, of course, you know, I answer every time it's an unknown number or a customer. But when I seen it was Hunter, I was loading one and it, was a, been a, it had been a very crazy day. So I ignored his call. Well, I feel bad about that now because here it was. He was just trying to give me some work. You know what I'm saying? And so I sent him a text this morning. He, yeah. He's never had anything but great intentions with me, you know. Oh, yeah. um, so I told him straight up. I was like, man, I just wanted to send you a text and let you know I appreciate it. Because, man, any type of referral as a new businessman, it's uh, every job is a big deal. I appreciate it, too. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I had, uh, when I was working at another company, I was working for Ace, man, they, which is a phenomenal company, too. They, uh, when they hired Hunter on, I thought that I knew, you know, I, I was like, man, I'm, I'm there, right? I know, I know everything. Yeah, yeah. That young man, uh, because he had been trip certified and stuff and had done a lot of the uh, GSP work on the interstate, mm -hmm. they do really wicked stuff. Yeah. Right? Like often too. Yeah. And, uh, it's, it's like definitely more recovery than tow. That's right. And Hunter's yeah. extremely seasoned. And don't get me wrong, I was, mm -hmm. but nothing like that. And At so that looked, yeah, and I told him straight up, I'm willing to learn anything. And as soon as, He's like, dude, I'll teach you whatever you want to know. And so anytime I had a minute to, you know, let Hunter show me something, of course I would. Yeah, and that's, that's what separates that's the boys funny. from, yeah. That's what separates the boys from the men is the willingness to learn, you know. Yeah, yeah he's a super guy, man. Absolutely. I, I literally know him since sixth grade. I've been buddies since Well, I'm glad he sent you to me. Obviously it says, it makes me feel good that he trusts me to send his friends to me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, see, his boss told me 500 fucking dollars. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, and that, just so you know, that's really, the reason why is because people are scared of toolboxes, bro. Well, yeah, and everyone else that I, that I knew, that I ended up, either was unavailable, or uh, they didn't know what they were getting into. I was like, this is crazy. That's, and, my, my buddy owns a, owns a company. Yes, sir. And, I mean, he charged me uh, $100. Yeah. For the, for the same trip. Which, I, which is, I'm not saying no, 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 I get, I, of got, course not, right, right, but it's like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I could have just, you knew damn well that 500 weeks, wasn't, yeah, that's right, I was like, oh man, it's, you know, yeah, oh, I, uh, so I did a shed the other day, and, um, you know, I told the guy, uh, it was a three mile tow, man, and it was like very short, right by my house, and whenever that happens, man, of course I'm, I show the love, dude, I, I distribute that love, and so, he, uh, Went to go pay. When it comes time to pay, uh, he was like, man, you know, your prices. He says, your prices are way too cheap. Yeah. He says, uh, I had a guy, I, I bid, uh, I think I told him 125, and then um, it was three miles, so I think I told him 130 total. Because it was, a, the shed was, it was an easy situation, very close to the house. We, when he paid me, he tipped me, and he says, man, he said, uh, you know, the closest bid I had was 450. He said, you know, you're bidding a little low. And I said, well, they're probably bidding a little high. You know, and hey, I get it. And that's going to be most places. I think as long as I'm doing quality work. And look, man, <clears throat> what I charged you is still good money for me. Right. But at the same time, the little bit of liability that's involved, I did charge for. And that's the only reason. When you say toolbox, the first thing they think is master series. That's why they all say for... They never, if they would have seen all those places, if they would have seen this and known that that would. Oh, I told him. I told Hunter's boss. Because that's pretty sad that that. He, uh, he did seem like he was scared of it, though. Uh, it's very common. I mean, what it is is they're drivers. Okay, so you got drivers. 
when you're an owner operator, you're gonna have drivers who when you tell them, oh, you know, I got this toolbox, they're, oh man, you know, give it to Junior, the new guy. Everybody's like arm wrestling, trying to figure out who's not gonna get it. Not Hunter. I tell you, let me tell you something about Hunter. That was one of his favorite things to tow is a toolbox. But you know, I think that, where were they at? Is that up in Canton? Uh, I, don't think so. I don't know his new company. I, I'm not sure where it is, but I think, I, I thought it was Malden's. I don't think it's that far. Well then I don't know why it would be that much. They're, unless they were coming from 30 miles away, there's no reason for it to be that much. Yeah, you're right. Scared of the liability. Or it was only worth it too for 400. Right, right. Some people might have contracts that are so great that's all they have to. Me either, absolutely not. It puts, it gives a, gives a spot for me, the little man. You know what I mean? And I'm happy to have it. Shit. Yeah, I hear you. Get in where I fit in. Eventually, you know, I'm gonna be getting, I live on eight acres and I'm gonna put up a, a fence and I get a yard. I'm already insured for all of it. But once I get my non-consensual, I can start towing for the police too. And, and doing, re, uh, like, not repos, because I don't like really doing repos, but recovering cars for places like, you know, rent-a-car places. Yeah, I'm sure there's good money in that. People are always trying to walk away with That's right. people's cars. Yeah, well, and then another thing, too, is, like, one thing I've learned is, is CarMax, all those places, too, they all have to constantly get cars uh, repoed and stuff. And it is what it is. I'm not... This is just... This isn't going to hold much. I'm just keeping it there. Now we're going to put some pressure on the top. This thing ain't going nowhere. All right, man. We're all set. I'm going to uh, close this video out. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Is your house? No. No, what? So what? Does it come with fish or? No. Yeah, I, I have. have a, I have a quite, quite a few fish tanks we're trying to get. So my daughter, we had a fish named Santa Claus. Well, that's what she named it, Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, when she was little, my dad, because it got too big for its tank, and so he would take it outside in the daytime and put it in a, a swimming pool outside. I swear. I kept on telling him, y'all gonna kill that fish. You keep on putting him in water he's not acclimated to. Chlorine. Yeah, man, and it's, yes. And so I kept trying to tell him and trying to tell him, and then he would let her get in the pool with it and play with the fish, and he was huge, bro. Santa Claus, we got him. He was, I think he was just like a normal goldfish when we got him. He ended up becoming full grown. Hold on yep. Exactly yep. Big ass, Big ass dude. All right, y'all. So, um, I got my Mighty straps on it. Um, see those axle straps? That's, I don't have anything metal hooked up to it. And so, we're also going to get our ramps back out. <clears throat> I had this fixed. I gotta work on it a little bit more to where I don't have to use the screwdriver to get it out. So what I do is I line them up. See how these lips are beveled or curved like that? It goes perfect on the bed and it makes it to where it's a smooth transition surface. So where you don't have to worry about something happening and you not being able to get it on off the truck without it having issues. So I used to use boards and skates and they were a little bit sketchy. Like y'all know on that last toe, that master series, it was pretty difficult to get it off the truck. And so I got with Miss uh, Christina from IT. Thank you, Christina, by the way, shout out to my T. I'll uh, leave the link in the comments. I mean, in the description for the, uh, for their products. And, uh, but yeah, you guys, this, these hand ramps. So I know what a lot of people are going to say, well, skates do the same thing. Not actually. So I've, uh, I love using skates for almost anything. I'm one of those people that uh, I'm, I like to keep things minimal. And so since I do stuff like this, you know, if I can have skates on the truck and I have to have these to take up space, I'll just use the skates. I wouldn't have them on my truck taking up space if they weren't worth it, period. These are the my t straps. Gilbert, Gilbert Villarreal, when I first started my business, one of my subscribers, shout out to Gilbert. 
Delta Transport out there in Texas. He uh, contacted me and he's like, hey man, he's like, I, uh, I dig what you're doing. He's like, I would like to, is there anything I can do to help? So he sent me quite a few things, man. He's actually done it a couple times. Camera for my truck, he's sent us uh, some gear from my T. He ordered for us uh, straps. Um, he ordered uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, buckles, that, that, here, I'll show y'all. He ordered me these, which I don't use this because I'm not a welder, and I did weld this, so I haven't really used this for nothing yet, but he ordered me these, and I gotta get them welded onto the truck, but. Yep, everything's going. It's going. Get this rolled up. Put this up. I will put it in the box a little bit later then. Go and unlock these. Uh... Get my phone for a picture. Beautiful. These guys are just going to be for the. I'm going to use a make a for the video when you guys first look at it. It'll. I can't remember the word for it right now. slack and see how you act. you see those ramps made that super smooth transition yep all right you guys i appreciate y'all watching i'm gonna end it here and then um if you haven't already smash that like button and subscribe to the channel thanks guys